in office for almost two years. Uh, and during his administration, Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed has seen the best and the worst of the city. From his bold initiative to improve unemployment numbers to having to deal with a multi-million dollar lawsuit over a bar raid. Mayor Kasim Reed, the busiest man in the city, joins us this morning with a look at the state of Atlanta. Good morning, Mayor. How good are morning, you doing Karen. today? How are you? I'm doing just fine. Good. And, you know, we, we always talk about the good and the bad, but the bad no always question. seems to highlight, you know, anything these days. But you say there is some good going on in the city of Atlanta. Well, I think there's a lot of good going on. We just announced the expansion of the EUE screen gym. Uh, style, sound stage mm -hmm. at, uh, the state is moving into and the city is moving into uh, the billion dollar mark in the motion picture industry that was a huge announcement for the city of Atlanta we just had a wonderful midtown which uh, music midtown which uh, featured Coldplay Cold had more than 40,000 people yeah. uh, in Piedmont Park so I think that there are a number of things fundamentally that are going on uh, we had uh, to have had two balanced budget we've bu uh, built cash reserves in the city from 7.4 million to 70 million dollars We've stood up the largest police force in the history of the city of Atlanta, uh, and we have we've done that without raising people's taxes. So That's I think that there's a, a good bit to talk about. There is, and you know we were uh, talking about um, you know every day on the news. Of course, you see a crime happening in Atlanta, but you're actually sure. saying that the numbers here in Atlanta are, as far as crime is concerned, are down. Since I've been mayor, uh, the numbers are down by 10 points or more, depending on which zone. For this year, they're actually flat. But you know we were in a position where crime was moving towards historic lows nationwide so we're pushing against a very low threshold but the fact of the matter is is that last year less than a hundred people were murdered uh, in the city of Atlanta which is really most important to me uh, that has only occurred five times in this city since Lyndon Baines Johnson was president wow. so while every time someone is impacted by a crime of any kind uh, I care about it uh, we're certainly acting aggressively uh, to do something about it which is why in very tough economic times. Uh, I've hired more than 350 police officers since I've been mayor. But every time something happens uh, in our city, I care about it. Speaking of hiring, the uh, State Department uh, released the numbers last week of Atlanta's unemployment numbers in the double, double digits. Yes. Um, how is your Hire One program coming? I mean, the, the, will you basically hire yeah. just one person? I think it's, it's coming real well. We announced that in January, working with Ed Baker from the Atlanta Business Chronicle. Today, we have hired more than 14,000 people through that program that was launched in January. And we have more than 1,400 companies that are participating. And we took an opposite approach. I mean, rather than criticizing the business community, we really went out, we engaged the business community, and just said that if you have the capacity uh, to, hire, to hire an individual, or if you're thinking about making that decision, make it right now. And when you see the letters that I get from CEOs across the region, the letters that I get from individuals who did not have a job, who have a job now because a business made the decision to hire, I know we've made a difference in the lives of those 14,000 people. Interesting. And, and, Mayor, just before you took office, there was an incident, of course, here in the city involving police officers, the raid on the Eagle Bar. As of yesterday, there, there's been an update on the story, the city having to pay out uh, additional monies and lawsuits there. Could you update yeah. us on well, that? Yeah, I think you're right, Karen. I mean, I appreciate you emphasizing that the Eagle Raid occurred before I ever took office. Uh, so this is uh, a bit of work that we have to do to make a situation that I did not feel good about right. Uh, we had already paid out $1.25 million. Uh, I apologize to those plaintiffs, uh, but the statute of limitations was still open. So you had some additional uh, plaintiffs come forward. Those that eight individuals uh, receive a payment in, a in excess of $100,000. The city council supported that on yesterday because we understand that this has been an awful chapter in the life of the city, and I'm doing everything that I can do to bring it to a close. Well, well, thank you for that update, and thank you for coming by. You're a hard man to track down. I am not. But that seat so is always open if Fox you want to just, just... If y'all would just by. let me come, I'd okay. be happy to come. That's on camera. You, that's, that's right. On Get camera. it on camera. Okay. <laughs> For more information on the Hire One program that the mayor was talking about, you can just log into our website, myfoxatlanta.com, and click on the Good Day tab. 